best, best, best friend in the whole wide world, fashion icon busted. And my uber sexy, mm, delicious, smoking hot husband of 13 years, Alon. Yes, sir. And my dear friend, fashion designer, worked at Barbara Matera for years and is now the fashion director, costume designer of the New York City Ballet, Mr. Mark Happel. years. <laughs> Something in there between the two. Okay, so Mark, this is how it works. Our first topic is inspiration. Mark, what makes you wet? Uh, uh, it depends on the day. Okay. Uh, I mean, it could be like a quick, a quick look through the September issue of Vogue, Ooh. or it could be that Latin boy that I just passed on 8th Avenue. <laughs> Shut it down. I do boats get what you mean. Yes. So do I. <laughs> Babe, come on. You're hilarious. Okay, Mark, our next category is trends. First, I want to know if there is a trend that you could take, strangle it, throw it in the dirt, what would that be? Well, there's two. I would say girls that think that they can wear tights as streetwear, just the words that I want to. And then saying like and oh my god. Oh, 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 oh shit, does that count? That counts. So I think for a few trends that I would like to see be buried, done, gone, um, I'm going to say anything with fringe, anything that, that might have a tassel, bulky jewelry, and God forbid, asymmetrical haircuts. Oh, it drives me crazy. I mean, am I right? <laughs> Great. Trends that I'd like to see die. Hilarious sidekicks. Okay, just kidding. So, uh, Mark, the next portion is trends that you want to see resurrected, rising from the ashes. What would that be? I think one, one trend I would like to see come back is drag queens that actually have clothes made for them rather than buying shit off them. Drag queens that I know to stop buying off the rack. Because where would a drag queen just buy off the rack? Like, where would she go to get, like, you know, size 11 and a half high heels? And, like, underwear and corsety stuff, zippers and buttons, really cinch your waist in. Where would they go? Like, one store. I don't know. So, you gotta get a designer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That brings us to our next. Category. Really, Queen? Okay, I did a little research through my personal files yes. and found yes. this photo. Do you remember that? <laughs> of course I do. That's me, and that there is Mr. Mark Happel and our friend Bertha. And uh, yeah, let's talk about what was that look? What were you thinking? <laughs> it was the only time I've ever done drag. And obviously I should have. No, no, it's a, you know what's genius about it? Let me tell you, let me break it down and give you it, okay? Yeah. Most people doing drag for the first time want to look like a slut. And you, I'm going to look like I'm going to churn some butter. <laughs> and I that was, is giving me everything. It's giving me everything. I was everything. doing Little House on the Prairie. Why would I want to be a slut? Right, you're a slut in real life, so you're going to dress up exactly. and do something different. Yeah, do something different. Little House on the Prairie. Well, Mark, you are going to come up. Everyone to take a look at this little job. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, you look I can't so frighten. I was. Well, first of all, that is uh, the first dress that Mark ever made for me. And that's got to be like 93. Oh, yeah. Because that was Wigstock. Yeah. That was the first year that I ever had a solo number at Wigstock. Oh, it's so because his hand is just so close to your... <laughs> Vagina. Your <laughs> what? Vagina. Vagina. <laughs> and our last topic is Hall of Fame. Now, Mark, you get to induct one person, living or dead, fiction, nonfiction, anything goes into our Hall of Fame. Who is it? There are so many, but I think the one that comes to mind for me is Justin Vivian Vaughn. Just because. Um, 
she and I have worked together for so long, and I also think that she's doing an amazing thing for the transgender community, and you know, what we did with Kiki and her was an amazing history, so. Good, yeah, you know, I back that one up 100%, I love her. Thank you for joining, and a huge round of applause for my dear friend, Mark Happel! Drag does not make me wet. It makes me trauma. <laughs> Honey, hashtag kickball change tranny tranny bevel. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs>